Is Lincoln Loud from the Loud House still adopted? Guys, some new information has come out. What, what do you want to know? Well, what time of day was I born? Morning. Night. Why does every sister in the Loud House have a different color hair and Lincoln's the only one with white hair? This begs the question of if Lincoln Loud's even part of the family, dude. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, Lincoln Loud has white hair because of his grandpa. But I got unfortunate news for you. Albert, which is his grandpa, has white hair because he's grown old in age and he's a grandpa. When we look at science, it tells us that the hair follicles, when we get older, stops producing color. So, you know, the melanin is not absent. Isn't she great? Good thing I stole her away from Seymour. That hound dog had his eye on her. And this is probably why Albert has his color hair. It's not because he had this his whole life. But when we look at the parents of Lincoln Loud, dude, they really don't resemble him at all. Their hair colors are completely different. Even his sisters, no one looks like Lincoln Loud. The freckles, everything about Lincoln Loud is strange and really, really different. And this, you know, begs the question is if he really is adopted. We're supposed to be looking for my birth story. Everyone in our class has to do a report about the day they were born. Throughout the episode, Lincoln Loud wanted to find out what happened to his book and why are pages missing. I mean, there's no information about him. Now, one may be asking the question, well, hmm, Kalobi, you know, that actually kind of makes sense. I mean, if he's adopted, there would literally be nothing, no history of anything, no baby pictures, no nothing. And so this is why it's missing from his book. And Lincoln Loud questions this, and so his best friend, Clyde, they're going on an adventure, and they're gonna get to the bottom of this. Clyde is actually one of the funny characters, except for the fact when he's always going goo-goo eyes for one of the sisters. I never got to say goodbye to Lori. I need you to tell her some things. Now, I know some people are laughing at this video. They're saying, dude, you're crazy. How could this be possible? You're talking about DNA in a kid's cartoon. Well, I just gotta tell you, you gotta be quiet and listen to what we gotta say. This is real facts. I mean, you're not gonna believe some of the evidence that we have in this video and how it all comes together. Now, take a look at this. Huh, the section for my birth story is blank. That's okay, I'm sure mom and dad remember. At first, Lincoln Loud is not suspicious of anything because if you're a child that's adopted, I mean, you've been living with your parents for a long time and you wouldn't really think anything of it. But as the episode goes on, you can tell he gets more irky and more, more sensitive. Just take a look. What, what do you wanna know? Well, what time of day was I born? Morning. Night. Why are the parents lying to his face? Why is Lincoln's parents not... The story that... The question that he asked them, they're answering completely different answers. I mean, he asked them, Guys, parents, what color is the sky? And then it'll be like red, blue. They're answering the wrong question. It's like, because if they were really... If they knew the answer, it should be the same answer. It shouldn't be different answers. And that's why it really threw Lincoln... You know, Lincoln Loud is like, what in the world is happening? This is really weird. And even Clyde is like, just look at, Clyde's just like, yeah, I'm not buying this story, dude. I'm not buying this story. They're saying two different things. Now, what's interesting is that if Lincoln Loud is adopted, he was picked up at the hospital or the shelter. And this was probably the doctor that delivered him. His name is Mr. Feinstein or Feinstein. And he must have been the one who gave birth, well not gave birth, <laughs> he was the one who helped finalize the adoption papers to the family. And they've been keeping it secret all this time. Let's listen to Rita's explanation of how they were born. You were gonna be born on the side of the road, but thankfully a black limo pulled you were going to be delivered by the president until he passed out. Born on the side of the road, really? Really, the president? What are the chances of the president of the United States of the Loud House, Erica, stopping by while you're... Dude, there's no way the president just did that. And if he did, wow, they were really lucky. Okay, let's just pretend that she's telling the truth here, okay? Pretend what she's saying is true. Does this really add up at all? I mean, the president passed out. But something interesting, which I'm going to tell you about, I'm going to tell you something really cool that is gonna blow your mind. You're gonna say, wow, after this, he literally is adopted, but I'm gonna hold on for that fact. Just keep watching the video, you're gonna see. But anyway, does anyone actually buy this story? I mean, dude, really? You ran into the president while giving birth to Lincoln Loud? Come on, dude, really the president, dude? I mean, I would understand if they ran into anyone else. I mean, she could've ran into SpongeBob for all I care. I would've believed that, but the president, the president, 
the man in charge. There's no way. And another thing that's funny is that the president car, it just pulled up and it didn't really, like it literally was like, you know what? The president, you know, it can wait. What we got to do today, it's got to wait. Let's help these citizens, which it's pro possible, but you know, whatever. Guys, go ahead and click that subscribe button on this channel. If you want to get updated on the news of cartoons, if you love the Loud House, click that subscribe button. Don't want to miss out on what we got to say. Now, guys, I'm going into some serious territory right now. Let's take a look at some evidence. Look at the shape of Lincoln's head. It's a, it's a shape of a circle. And when we look at his mom's head, we don't even know what it is. I mean, it's kind of like an oval in, an, in a weird way. And you know, that's weird. I mean, it should at least be the same, or if not the same, at least something similar. Now guys, remember when I promised some really compelling evidence? This is the evidence. Take a look at this clip and you're not gonna believe what I have to of say about this. you had to hear that from me since you were passed out too. Did you hear what Read Aloud just said? Dude, let's replay that one more time. Of course, you had to hear that from me since you were passed out too. Read Aloud is the only one who knows if Lincoln was actually born or not. She's the only one. No one in the Loud House universe has a clue if Lincoln Loud, she's literally the only one who saw with her eyes if Lincoln Loud was born because the dad actually passed out because it was too yucky. It was too yucky for him. Before we go on, type in the comment section, hashtag adopted or not adopted. What do you believe? Is, is Lincoln Loud adopted? Type down below hashtag adopted. If you don't believe it, type down hashtag not adapted because I don't believe the evidence. There's no way. Well, it's possible he's not adopted, but this is some compelling evidence. <laughs> Could Rita Loud really be like this? In the show, she's such a loving mom. She takes care of her kids, and she actually, she really likes Lincoln. I mean, it's not like she treats him bad or anything. But, you know, I don't even know what to believe at this point. I mean, now that I think of it, couldn't any of the sisters be adopted? I mean, we always pick Lincoln Loud because he has a different hair color, but... What about the other sisters? Did you know that you could still be adopted with a different hair color, with the same hair color as your parents? You can literally look like your parents, and you can still be adopted. This is crazy! I just realized that. Why does everyone pick out, you know, everyone singles out Lincoln because of the white hair. But if we think about it, everyone could be adopted. Now we all know that Clyde is also adopted. It's a no-brainer, it's a no question. So there's already adopted people on the show, so it's not far-fetched to think that Lincoln Lad could be adopted. Now he does spend a lot of time with his mom, and it is kind of weird that she's gonna hold this information from him. Maybe when he grows up, and later in some episode we see in the future, they go 500 years in the future, they go 50 years in the future, 10 years. We see Lincoln Loud old enough to understand the principles of adoption and how serious it is, and maybe they don't want to tell him for some reason, and they're gonna be like, Lincoln, it's been, Lincoln, we gotta tell you something. You and her, you, your mother and I, we need to sit you down and tell you something. We need to tell you that we're not your actual parents, but we love you regardless. Something like that could happen, or we're just crazy on this channel. We could be crazy, and we could just be off on, completely off on this. Who knows? But what I want to know is why we don't know. Why is it such a hard debate? I mean, couldn't Lucy Loud be adopted? Couldn't Lily be adopted? Well, Lily's probably not adopted. Come on, she's a newborn. Wouldn't it be kind of fishy? All the sisters would notice. Huh, mom wasn't pregnant and somehow there's a new baby? That's, that's interesting. Did she get it from the boss baby or did the boss baby show up and then they're trying to take over the family or something like that? It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, guys, I'm just joking, dude. I don't really know. I mean, Lily's obviously not adopted. So it would seem that, you know, it's obvious. Who is the firstborn of the Loud House? Because the firstborn of the loud, even if you were born in that time, okay, this is too confusing, and I'm just, I'm losing my mind trying to think, I'm trying to break this down, but I'm just, I'm, my head is about to explode, your head's probably about to explode from thinking about this too hard, I mean, we literally talked about DNA, biology, and science in this video, but my head hurts now, but the hair follicles, of course, now, what would cause Lincoln's hair to be white, we didn't even talk about that, did he bleach his hair, did he dye his hair that color? The answer is no. The reason that his hair is actually white is possibly, there's two reasons now. Possibly it's from Albert, his grandpa, and he developed his white hair because 
You know, it's even possible. Young people can have white hair as well. Did you know that? They can literally have white hair. It can form. And you know, the hair is not even white. It's actually transparent. When they lose the hair follicles and it loses the melanin, you actually lose the color. So it's not even white. It's actually just the loss of pigments, you know? So that happens to some people. I've seen that happen to some people, but not as full blown as Lincoln. The Lincoln zone is just a little bit too much to be. It's a little bit too, too fishy at his age, at least. So yeah, I think we've hit all the points in this video. Go ahead and click that like button. Click that like button. Click the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Guys, I'm working on a movie for Halloween. It's going to be here on YouTube for free. I told you guys I was going to explain it more. And basically, it's going to be about a young girl who goes on an adventure. Her drawings come to life. There's more. There's more. But I'm going to explain it later. Not in this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.